Welcome to Thermal Imaging 101. We're going to talk about over-reliance on technology. A lot of firefighters today are skeptical about using a thermal imaging camera because they've seen firefighters over-rely on the camera, stare at the camera too long, and actually slow down the search. What we want to show, share with you today is actual data and how the camera should be used. If you talk to anyone in the military, they train with their night vision and infrared constantly. They don't take it away from them when they go attack the enemy. When they talk to a sniper who looks through a scope and takes a shot at the enemy, he doesn't close his eyes and take the scope away. He uses everything he has, he or she has, for technology and training to make a difference for us. So the one device that allows us to see the layout, to see where the fire is, and do that more efficiently is left on the camera or left on the charger of the truck 50% of the time. Now you're telling me we saved lives and property for a living that we're going to leave the one device on the truck that allows us to do so because we're not properly trained or understand it in the charger because I don't want to, over, I don't want to rely on technology. How many times has your cell phone failed you? How many times has your car failed you? How many times have any piece of mechanical electronic equipment failed you? Have you stopped using it? No, because you want that benefit. The citizen deserves that benefit, and we need to get past those failures and understand it's a training and education issue. And if we use this properly and don't over rely on it and simply show the firefighter what we need them to do and put the device down and move with purpose, then we won't have this in front of our face. We won't have tunnel vision and we won't be scooting across the floor staring at a camera like a video game. We'll be using this like the military does and that's called intelligently aggressive folks. Understand what you're using as a force multiplier and if we use it properly, we'll move with purpose, we'll find the fire faster, we'll find the victim faster and we'll do our job better than we ever have before. But we'll only do that if we invest in training and education. When I close this video today, the challenge I want you to, I'm going to leave with you is ask any senior firefighter how much training they've had on this device. And, and reply to the video with your answer. And you'll be surprised that they've had little to none where a trained thermographer in the industry has to have at least 32 hours. And they don't run into burning buildings for a living. You do. You owe it to the public to your family and to your firefighters to learn how to use these. And we're making that possible free and easy for you. You have no reason not to. Make sure we fulfill that commitment. Stay intelligently aggressive and fight this problem with awareness and education, not with complacency. Thanks.